everybody welcome back to my channel today I thought I would share with you guys my like 20 week pregnancy update um, so I think what I'm gonna do is share the symptoms that I had that made me first suspect that I was pregnant and then the symptoms for from my first trimester and then what I'm kind of experiencing now so um, so I thought that I would just share with you guys everything that I've been going through from the start till now and then at the very end of this video I will also let you know what the gender is because we just had our anatomy ultrasound yesterday so I will let you know what that is. So I do have a little notebook here that I've been keeping notes in um, about my pregnancy so far so if I'm looking down I'm just looking so I can kind of remember um, I kind of just wrote down every week like a little bit of what I was going through. Okay so starting with the first pregnancy symptoms that I felt um, the thing that made me suspect that I was pregnant, I did mention this in my previous video. Um, one of them was obviously that I was like a week late for my period. So, but I had also mentioned that that's not too unusual. Like that happens quite often. I just have a very irregular cycle. And um, so there was that. And then another thing was that I felt very crampy, like pretty bad period cramps. And to be honest with you, I just don't experience those. I haven't had like cramps period style cramps since I was like a very young teenager when I was like first getting my period so I've just I've never experienced that so that was totally different for me and then another thing was I just felt really like sore and heavy in like my breasts um so all of that being said I just knew something was up uh and I don't think I really experienced these symptoms last time when I was pregnant with my son Liam so these were just like totally new and I was like what is going on that's why I decided to take the pregnancy test also another thing that I noticed was that my face was breaking out and it wasn't even just my face breaking out with acne it was like <laughs> my entire body I got acne like all right here along my neck my chest, my back, which is really unusual. I do suffer from facial acne though, so that wasn't that weird. But the fact that I was getting it kind of in places where I usually don't get acne was also just like, what is going on? Okay, so that takes us to what initially made me decide to take a pregnancy test. Those were the symptoms that I was experiencing. After I taken my pregnancy test and I had gotten a positive, I actually started feeling a lot of pain like the following day. I was doubled over in pain it was like real low in like my pelvic area and it was so bad that I was up to like three o'clock in the morning crying like I was in so much pain I had to call my mom we hadn't planned on telling anyone yet um, until we had our first uh, doctor's visit but um, I had to call her and be like mom I think there's something wrong uh, because I was in just so much pain. I was literally in tears up till 3 in the morning. So I called my doctor the next morning at like 8 a.m. right when the office opened and they told me that the earliest they could possibly see me would be um, of six, at 6 weeks. So they took like the date of my last period and then they calculated when 6 weeks would be and it was like a week and a half away. And I remember I had even asked the lady on the phone like well what if it's an ectopic pregnancy because that was honestly my biggest concern. And she just told me, like, I'm so sorry, just unfortunately our policy is six weeks is the earliest we can see you, so you have to wait until then. And so I was devastated. I was in so much pain. And then it's actually really funny because we left, like, I think we left, like, three or four days later to go on a trip out of state. So... That entire trip, I went to go um, see some family, which was really, really great. So that trip was really fun for me. But I was in so much pain the entire time. And I didn't want to tell anybody I was pregnant yet, especially since I had thought that it was an ectopic pregnancy. Um, with those, you generally have to um, end the pregnancy. Like, they, they're not viable. They won't last. So I definitely was not going to tell anybody that I was pregnant yet. But I was in so much pain, literally just... To move, to walk, to do anything was like brutal. So that takes me to my six week appointment. So I went in for my six week appointment. They did the ultrasound right away. They were able to tell it was not an ectopic pregnancy, but the pain was coming from a huge cyst on my ovary. And the doctor kind of explained to me that um, since that cyst, it could have been there for like a long time. We don't really know um, how long it's been there. But since now, like things in my like uterus and pelvic area were all like, expanding and just 
moving and making room for a baby even though the baby was like the size of a grain of rice it was just putting pressure on that cyst on the ovary um so she said that was probably what the pain was that i was feeling and to just keep an eye on it and if it got worse to come back and they would recheck it luckily the pain ended up going away i think around week nine <laughs> like it was it was pretty bad pain for a few weeks but it ended up going away Okay, so I'm gonna jump right into the symptoms that I was feeling in my first trimester besides like what I just talked about. Um, sorry, I'm looking at my notes here. So um, so for cravings, I did have quite a few cravings, um, but mainly it was like fresh fruit, juicy things, or really spicy things. It got to the point where I almost ate a jar of pickled jalapenos. <laughs> I was craving spicy food so bad. My husband thought I was like a lunatic, but I was really, really like, I need something spicy so bad. So those are what I was craving. Another thing that I experienced in my first trimester was some morning sickness, but honestly, it wasn't that bad. Like, um, I've heard horror stories of people who are like sick all day and throwing up all day. And mine was like easy peasy compared to that. Um, I just felt nauseous like very first thing in the morning and very late at night. But during the day, for the most part, I was okay. Unless I smelt something super, super strong and then I'd be like, ugh. But other than that, uh, the morning sickness wasn't that bad. I also struggled with like extreme exhaustion in my first trimester. I was so tired all the time and um that was really rough like that was extremely rough on me i just felt like i could not keep my eyes open i felt like i just could not function i was so tired all of the time but um luckily that seems to have faded for the most part so i'm hoping i don't get as exhausted anymore every once in a while i get pretty exhausted still but nothing like that first trimester like oh my god that was intense exhaustion i was Felt like I could sleep for a month straight and still be tired. It was the worst. Um, also, at my first appointment, so when I was six weeks pregnant, uh, they did draw blood and did like all their blood work and blood tests and stuff. And I it did come back that I did have hypothyroidism, so I was diagnosed with it at that time. And so I've been since put on medication to kind of manage that and help that. But so far, it seems to be under control. They just check my blood every time I go for an appointment now, so every four weeks. They're usually drawing blood just to make sure that me and baby are both okay. All right, and then um, also for my first trimester, I just kind of want to put this in here. Um, I did gain one pound. So from the very start of my pregnancy until um, I did my first second trimester uh, exam with my doctor, I had only gained one pound. She didn't seem worried about it at all. Um, so I'm not that concerned about it. When I was pregnant last time with my son Liam, I think I gained like 60 pounds by the end of my pregnancy. It was quite a bit. So this time I'm really like one pound was okay. I'm not trying not to gain weight. I eat when I'm hungry. I don't eat when I'm not hungry. Um, but I feel like this time I just get full so fast. Like I could be ravenous and sit down to eat and take five bites and I'm like so full that I literally just cannot eat another bite whereas when I was pregnant with my son Liam I was like an empty pit like I could eat literally all day every day everything and I never felt satisfied so that's probably why I gained almost 60 pounds last time so I've only gained one pound for my first trimester so now I'm going to talk about from my first trimester to now so until 20 weeks so I have gained an additional three pounds since then which is normal my doctor did say that like you start gaining weight a little bit faster in your second and third trimester so um I have gained a total of four pounds now which isn't bad to be honest I was a tiny bit overweight to begin with um according to like the doctor BMI's thing so I'm not that concerned about it but um, this time I also am just trying to make healthier choices. Like I'm trying to eat a lot more salads, a lot more greens, a lot more veggies this time around than I did when I was pregnant with my son. When I was pregnant with my son, I was like, oh, I'm pregnant. I'm going to gain weight anyway. So I'm just going to eat whatever I want. Um, so which was totally just the wrong mentality to have about it. So this time I'm trying like to, when I'm hungry, I eat, but I try to make sure I'm eating something at least good for my body and fueling for my body rather than like 
a bag of chips and a whole bunch of candy and a whole cake or something like that. So I'm just trying to like find a balance of more healthy options. So I actually just had my 20 week anatomy scan yesterday and if you've ever had one of those, you know it takes a little bit longer than normal. It's usually like 40 to 50 minutes. Ours took like an hour and a half. Um, our doctor or the ultrasound technician was really just trying to get some clear pictures of baby's heart and unfortunately couldn't so we do have to come back in two weeks. I mean she was really trying to get, I mean she was like having me turn in all these different positions and we just could not get a clear picture of the heart so I do have to go back in two weeks or in four weeks at my next appointment they will redo just that part of the anatomy scan which I'm not too concerned about I don't think that there's going to be anything wrong I just think that they couldn't get a clear enough picture from the heart um however if there does happen to be something wrong I'm just going to like I'm not even going to think about that because I'm not going to stress myself out I genuinely believe that everything's okay and so we will cross that bridge when we get to it if there is something wrong but for now I'm just gonna like <laughs> trust God that everything is okay with this baby everything else looked great my doctor said everything looked wonderful so that is really good um we did also get some really cute pictures but I'm not going to show those because they have like all of, like my hospital information and all of our like information on them so I'm not going to show those but um, we are very excited and we did find out that we are having a little girl. So we already have a boy and he's about to be four and a half. So it's been a long time since I've been pregnant. It's been a long time since we've had to do any of this. But now that we know it's a little girl, we are super excited. I mean, we were going to be happy either way, to be honest. <laughs> like, we don't really care. But um, we are super excited that we are going to be having a little girl joining our family. So um my husband is already like on Amazon Prime trying to order all the like nursery items and everything. He's, <sighs> I'm like, let's wait for the baby shower. We are going to have another baby shower too because it's been, you know, almost, it's been five years since we've had a baby shower. So, um, and we honestly just thought we weren't going to have any more kids right after we had Liam. So we like gave everything away as we were done with it. It all just kind of like got chucked. So, this time, I'm probably going to save all of the baby stuff that we do get just in case. But that is pretty much it for this 20-week ultrasound. I'm not going to show you like a bump shot or anything because I'm just being honest with you. My stomach looks exactly the same as it did before I was pregnant, um, which is kind of sad. I'm like waiting for my like actual like pregnant belly to come in, but it is what it is, I guess. So, um, but yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below because I would love to see what you guys think or if y'all have any questions for me, I can answer them for you guys. And, um, yeah, so I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.